Hello everyone and welcome to Adventure Kyle's Play Realm of Rulers. Are you ready to rule? I can roll my R's. That comes from being slightly Hispanic. So uh, today we're going to be playing Realm of Rulers and it's a game by Alchemical Interactive. Sounds very, very uh, uh, fancy. Okay, so uh, what do I know about this game? I don't know. Let's read the description. <clears throat> Realm of Rulers is an early access. Okay, keep that in mind. Early access. <gasps> drop frames detected. Never. I will never have drop frames. No, 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 no. That's the first time in a little while that I've had that. Let's drop the uh, bit right here a little bit. There we go. Okay. So uh, anyway, no drop frames. Hopefully not. Anyway. Um, I'm guessing that the uh, graphics quality is probably something to do with this, because there's a lot of options for the graphics, believe me. I, was, I spent a little time looking through it. Um, it's a early access uh, da, 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 medieval fantasy city building game where you are baron of a new town, and your job is to manage the town's resources and population to try and create a world that will control itself through NPC interactions. AI gathering, refining, and construction is involved. <clears throat> So, uh, it says, uh, NPC interactions, which I imagine is going to be kind of interesting considering this is an alpha game. Uh, I wanted to pick it because I like building, like, cities and things like that. You should see some of the Minecraft maps and things that I've made over the years. Uh, it, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> we're just going to hit a new game and we're going to see what happens. So far, not a lot, but that's okay. I'm imagining there's a little bit of a load time on this. <clears throat> oh, yeah, actually, probably should use this opportunity to take the uh, chat and put it up. For all to see. Well, for me to see and for you to guess what's happening. Actually, if you're here watching right now, then there's not much guessing going on, right? Okay. Here we go. And the chat is live, and I can see it nice and prettily. Okay. So I am... Oh, I swung an axe. Oh, there's a little bit of a, a trail there of my movements. Interesting. Okay. What about sound? Do we have sound? What happened? Can I, is there any sound? Uh-oh. Oh. I heard something, I think. Can I... Uh, options here for sound. No. Oh, look at that. It changed all the uh, options to medium. Let's put them all at super ultra high. Again. FX quality, da da da. And da da. Yeah, oh, oh, you know what it is? My headphones came unplugged, everybody. Oh! So, I was not hearing it. You guys were. Okay, and you actually probably got a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of a, a echo chamber there. Oh, this is lovely now. Okay. Is that a... What is that over there? Oh, it's just a red bush. Whoa, I run fast! Holy crap! Alright, so I got an inventory, or what's the deal here? How do I... What are my controls? Okay, WASD, menu is escape, use is F. Okay, that's interesting. Can I rekey that to E? Oh, no, that's rotate building right and left. Oh, okay. That's why they made it F. I see. That should be the mouse wheel, actually, but, you know... Who's thinking words? Uh, okay, so I have a bunch of different tools here. A starting book. Okay. Where's my inventory? Is there an inventory? Maybe not. Okay. Whatever. Look at that, like, double image effect on the screen there. Just to <laughs> If I move it around a little bit, you can see the, the axe trailing around. That's interesting. I wonder why that is. It's like a motion blur type thing. Ooh. I'm getting oak logs. Click, click, click. What am I supposed to do with this? Two. Pickaxe. Destroy tool. Torch. Can I... Okay. Interesting. Interesting. And then five. Oh! I need a simple set settlement. Uh, okay. So how do I do those things that you say I can do or need to do? Okay. Destroy tool. I don't want to destroy tool. I want a build tool. How do I... how do I build things? Uh... pickaxe. Go! Oh! Yeah! Get those stones! <laughs> hey, how's it going? 
There's an there is an inventory button? Where? <laughs> I didn't see it on the controls list. Let's take a look again. Oh, B. A doy. Okay. Yeah, how, do, how did I not see that before? Okay, there's my inventory. Oh, that's really... Okay, cool. Oh, boy. Getting out of the inventory is not easy. All right. Clearly, this game is in a little bit of rough shape, but I want to kind of play around with it and see what I can get out of it. I uh, guess I'll just grab some stone for a minute here until I'm bored of it. And bored now. Okay, so how do I build things? Hmm. Not a very uh, intuitive game, but maybe I can... Do I have to open up my inventory and then do something with it? Like... I don't know. Let's let's just explore here for a little bit. Shoot, how do I get that? Okay, there we go. With my super fast running speed. Hmm. Where to? Man, this is really cool. I like how uh, uh, I'm completely surrounded. Like I'm in Mordor or something like that before Mordor became evil. Before I came to power, really. And uh, it's it's just like a, a square of mountains around me, or like a circle of mountains around me. I'm kind of curious how far I can run in any one direction, because I don't think those mountains are getting much closer. Oh, yes they are, I think. Yeah. They're, they're, they're physical objects. I can actually climb them, maybe, or, or they're probably just limits to the game. Alright. Well, this is interesting. Look at all this stuff. Nature everywhere. Oddly squarish pockets of grass everywhere. How do I... Oh, I'm getting barley. Oh, yeah, I'll take all that barley using this axe of power. Uh, let's see. What happened to... Uh, uh, was it Subnautica, Astroneer, or Terraria? Well, um, I came across this game, and it's exactly the same kind of game that I like to play. So I thought, let's give this one a try. I'm Like I said, I'm very... Uh, um, prone to uh, whimsy when it comes to picking games, so uh, I, I spent a little bit too much time today uh, um, looking at Game Jolt games and uh, not enough time uh, preparing to do like some other episode, like trying to figure out what am I going to do in, in Astria, or what am I going to do in, in Subnautica. Uh, I kind of like the approach of uh, Game Jolt games because you're not really expected to know anything beforehand. I mean, maybe you are. I'm getting a lot more oak logs though, that's for sure. Um, and, and you don't really, there's no expectations for me in this. It's, it's just like, eh, it's a game. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. Uh, so am I supposed to do something? Like, how do I build things? Well, let's take a look at those controls again. Um, build menu V. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Oh, oh, oh wow. Okay. So I can... Not enough resources. I need more oak logs. How many do I have? I need 150. Oh, shoot. Why is a B for backpack or something? Okay, so I'm halfway there. I'm actually exactly halfway there. Whoa. Oh, we're halfway there. Clicking on a tree. Is it going to... Can I chop down trees, or do, do I need to use the destroy tool for that? I like how it kind of gleamed off the sunlight or something like that. I don't know. Where, where is this glow coming from? <laughs> I, I this this is like Thor's hammer or something like that. It's just a magical glowing hammer. It looks pretty awesome though. I gotta gotta admit, and it's shiny. Look at that sheen on it. All right, <laughs> you need an axe to gather resources. Well, I can use a pickaxe if I really wanted to. I mean, come on. If dedicated, you really could. I kind of like uh, the Minecraft approach to uh, resource gathering. You could use whatever you want. You can use a fish to carve through rock if you really feel like it. It's not going to make much of a difference, you know, than using your bare hands and just going, eh, yeah, 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 at the rocks until they give way. Usually your hands would give way before the rock. <laughs> just saying. All right, so, oh, we are well above our limit here, but that's okay. We're probably going to use all of this wood before too long here. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, so where do I want the center of Mordor to be? I mean, center of my uh, favorite town to be. Why are these planted in nice rows and columns? I'm going to get some people to destroy that for me, I think, if I can do such a thing. 
Oh, I don't know. That looks like as good a place as any. Oh, press F to pl to place. Oh, and I can rotate it. Oh. Okay. Well, I can also just rotate my body. That yeah, that's interesting in and of itself. Huh. Okay. All right. All right. Right about mm, and there. Boop. Did I do it? I did it. I built a thing. Am I on fire now? Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's really oh oh use the forge oh oh there's there's uh, metals in this game as well also I the controls feel a little unresponsive sleep till day okay get rid of the inventory I don't need that right now manage your town oh <laughs> to manage your workers and citizens a storage shed is required well I think they made that loud and clear so I need a storage shed huh. Oh wait, okay, so this is actually a click menu. I was hoping I could like mouse wheel around. Hmm. I need a food storage and a water well. Ah, uh, I need lots of trees. This is gonna take forever. Just banging against this tree until the end of time. I mean thankfully every time you click you get five resources, so it shouldn't take that long to do any one thing. I mean, you click forty times and you've got two hundred logs. So Subnautica is going to be multiplayer in its final build. Oh, well that's interesting. I am very interested in having uh, uh, people play Subnautica with me. I'd, I'd be um, <laughs> I'd be surprised. Uh, um, I, I get the feeling that's some like the thing they'll they'll probably roll that out like right before they're done with it, or before maybe before too long. Who knows? Um, to be honest, it really depends on how they feel. Uh, the game needs to progress in terms of its development because they have a lot of content in there, like a lot of content. But I mean, as for like activities for you to do, it's all exploring and resource gathering. They need some other kind of element in there, something else. And, and I feel like the warpers and things that they put in really kind of, um, you know, add to the the gameplay experience a little bit. But they need something else. There's something missing. It feels like. I could put a tavern? <gasps> I can do one. Oh my gosh, I can do so many things. Okay. So, uh, let's build a small farm, I guess. Where does, where, I don't see it. I don't, I don't see it. Where's the, oh, oh, there it is. Oh. Okay, well, let's build it, um, one away from the town a bit. So, we're going to build it, like, right there kind of arbitrary, but how do I get rid of the grass? I don't know, am I, is the, is the terrain, uh, editable? Is it, is it able to be manipulated at all? I want to get rid of the grass. Destroy tool! Do things. Come on, he's, oh, <laughs> no, I do not want to destroy the building, I want to kill the grass. Ah, uh, eco-terrorism. Okay, so I have... How many things of things? I have 120 uh, things left. So if I want, oops, resources, if I could build a water well, and then I, oh, I can't build a water well. There's a lot more that I require, isn't there? Okay. Boom, 150 stone. All right, well, let's let's uh, work towards something like a, a house or, we need a storage shed, right? So I got enough stone for that. It's just more logs. Come here, nearest tree. That one's nearest. <laughs> These trees are incredibly resilient. Ooh, kind of a fun story. Uh, a very famous tree in California uh, fell over the other day. I think it was like two days ago. And it's because of all the rainstorms and stuff that have been coming through here, which is like really weird for California, I guess. But uh, uh, the point is that there used to be this big giant sequoia tree that you could drive your car through. Like literally, you drive your car through it. Now, I don't know about SUV, like, giant... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That was very abrupt. Okay. Um, but I don't know if you could drive, like, an SUV through it, but you could drive a car through that tree. And uh, it finally fell over. I guess over the last few years, it had really been sagging to one side a little bit, and they were expecting it. I imagine they probably even closed it off for cars to go through, but uh, it fell over. So a tree that had survived 150 years of people driving through it, basically, and you know, walking through it, or more, I don't know, uh, is now gone forever. Why do I have two tents here? 
I can only sleep in the one. Alright. Uh, is it not nighttime? Or is day or nighttime just that short? Why is there light shining through that mountain? So many questions. <laughs> how much does it take to kill a tree? I mean, seriously. I mean, what, do I have a limit to how much I can carry? Uh, uh, okay, 360. That's a lot, but I just I feel like I need some more here, and I'm kind of want to keep an eye on that sun if I can. I don't know if I. I don't think I can. That's really weird. This is a weird. <laughs> the. It, it, you know what, though? Like, I can see the potential here, so, you know, I'm not going to rag on the game like I did with the other one. Um, the, the potential of the other game yesterday I played was just, it was amazing, but, man. Um, this one here, I, I'm going to try to approach it a little more calmly. Because, <laughs> uh, it, at least I'm not, like, struggling to find stuff. I, I you know, they, they explain everything. You just have to know where to look. Just kind of like with the key, you need to know where to look. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so, uh, I guess, what can I build now? I can build the house, right? Alright, do I have enough? Ah! So, sh so short, okay, or just short. Words. What is going on with the sky? <laughs> the, su the sun is gleaning off of my axe here, but the <laughs> I can't see the sun. It's shining through the ground. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know what's happening anymore. Um, but da darkness just, like, went, like, just a blanket just went woof over the, the ground. That was amazing to watch. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. Just cutting my tree. Okay. I mean, I don't know if I can claim ownership of this particular tree here, but, uh, unless somebody stops me, it's my tree. Okay. It looks like the stars are out. I'm gonna guess that's nighttime. So let's let's go. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. Wow. That was really extreme and fast. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right. So I got a house. Oh. No, that's right. I needed. Uh, what was I gonna build? Twenty iron bars. Ugh, screw that. Uh. Resource. Oh, that's right. It was a storage shed, right? There it is. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Now that looks cool. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, I imagine a road right next to that, so I'm going to put it right there. I can see the road. Can you see the road? <laughs> that's actually... Ah, uh, I love it. Okay. Um, so I, I have a storage shed. What do I do with that? Do I just... How do I... What do I do with you? <laughs> alright. Whatever. Can I upgrade my town? Oh, hey, look at that. Okay. Uh, so I don't have a lot of uh, uh, resources here, food and water. Probably should get that stuff before I do anything else. Um, pickaxe. Where's the nearest giant rock? I need to bash this thing into a rock. Uh, don't see any rocks anywhere. I built far from rocks. Oh, there, there's some. Thank God I sprint like a cheetah. This is amazing. You know how, um, there was this, uh, Overwatch did, like, a thing with, uh, was it Team Fortress, or, uh, what's, what's that game? I, I'm forgetting the game right now, the, the name of the game, where it has the scout in it, and he's, like, the fastest man alive, or something like that, in, in the game. I think it's Team Fortress 2. And they did this thing where they took Overwatch's Tracer, and they raced him against, uh, the Team Fortress scout guy. And they found out that the scout was faster because he was just consistently, you know, able to move quickly. Whereas Tracer did, like, the teleport boost thing, and then it just kind of stopped. So, uh, let's see. Precursors, drones, implemented not fully. You need command, but they are lit. Robocrab repair tools? Oh, okay. So, Robocrab. Robocrab? There's a robotic crab in Subnautica? I'm kind of curious about that. Uh... <laughs> yes, I, I am such an eco-terrorist because I wonder how much it takes to kill a tree. Why is it I only get two stone per hit? This is going to take a lot longer. Is it because stone is not used as much as trees? Did they try to balance it that way? I feel like that's a silly way to do it. But okay. I mean, I guess if the point of the game is to, to stare at the rocks for a long period of time, yeah, that's fine. Can I hire people to do this stuff for me? I imagine I can. 
It said I think I could get like a lumberjack and a miner, so I'm kind of curious to try that out before too long. But I want to make sure that this place is self-sufficient somehow. Uh, I think I need to build a well and probably a farm, uh, you know, like actually farm things with... Click. <laughs> Click. This is like Minecraft, except you don't get to watch things explode and disappear into nothingness. It's kind of cool, though. I mean, this is like what I wish that Minecraft could look like, um, you know, when you're playing it. I love the attention to detail that they have here in terms of, like, the appearance of everything. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of effort to design, like, tree models like these things here. Um, the rocks and things like that look good. Heck, I was amazed at the the simple but elegant kind of quality of the, the storage shed there. So, everything's amazing in terms of the, the looks. Okay, so water well. Yeah, okay. Uh, I probably want to have that near my storage shed if I had to guess. I don't know. I feel like this should be like a pit stop for travelers, you know. Boop. All right, so how do I use this? And also, there's no water at the bottom of that well. <laughs> oh, no. You have to... Okay, developers, at least cover the bottom of the well with like a water texture or something like that so it looks like there's water at the bottom of the well because this is like the, the saddest well that ever welled oh boy all right well that's fine um so let's see i've got what else do i need to make here resource stuff water storage Ugh, not enough resources ah it's more rocks i need lots of rocks i have to hit these rocks another 70 something times but seriously, how much does it take to kill a tree in this game? Because I got a lot of wax into that, and I'm pretty sure even Kyle the human could probably knock down one of those trees in as many swings as I had. Maybe. I'm not. <laughs> we may have to put that to the test someday. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking one million subscribers. <laughs> I go chop down a tree. Everybody's gonna hate me for that one. Um, but it'll be you know we'll, we'll we'll compare it to the footage and see if I can do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can we get 1 million subscribers tonight? No. <laughs> the answer is a flat new. No. I'd be happy to get uh, to 45, 46. I'm at 44 right now. So, you know, it's good though. I, I like this channel. I like what we're doing. Um, or, well, I, I like that you guys are helping me <laughs> figure out the stupidity. Um, I mean, even today, you guys just told me there's a. Uh, uh, what you. Oh, you're going to leave? Oh, not into this game, huh? Okay. Well, uh, that's alright. The, uh, uh, help is appreciated, though, in helping me figure out that there's, like, an inventory and things to, to get through this. Did I hit this rock enough? No. One more. Eh. No. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, for a second I thought maybe the rock had finally decided to give up. I'm like, no, no more rocks. You can't have any more. Alright, so I need water storage? A barrel? That... Well, hold on. Hold on. That takes 150 stone? Or no, 200 stone? Oh my god. A cooking station. Food storage. Water storage. Alright, well, let's. I guess if I put the water storage in the storage, right, it would be good? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to put it next to it, though. So far, my town is pretty much over here. <laughs> this is just like a little camp that I hang out at. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, that barrel's kind of like underground a little bit. It's, uh... Hmm. I need, I need to be able to change the terrain, or at least have it so that when you play something like that, it modifies the terrain around it so it's fully visible. That is something that I think is essential uh, to, to making this game look prettier. Uh, let me see here. What else I got? Hmm. Resources? Uh, I could do food storage next, but that's going to take forever. Storage shed, a blacksmith. Whoa, that's going to be... Oh, smelts iron bars. So where do I get iron? And can I smelt stuff here? Yeah, okay, I can do that. So I've already got uh, a furnace right now to help me do that. And I cut a lot of trees. I cut down a lot of trees. So um, let me go back over here and just hit this rock for like freaking forever, I guess. Oh, man. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I need help here. I need to get the help. <laughs> I can hire people to do this for me. I'm a king, after all. Uh, I want a miner, but I need barley. I, I need more barley. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, so it looks like I'm getting more water, and I'm guessing that that's from... Eh, uh, that's from the well that I built. So that's actually kind of exciting. Has it modified at all? <gasps> oh no, okay, I thought maybe there's some water at the bottom of it now, but I guess not. Okay. I'm kind of curious to see what happens, though, once other NPC-type things start showing up, because their claim was that NPCs are a vital part of this uh, experience. Is this is this something I can... Okay. It's like a, a grassy road. Alright, let's go get this barley. Come here, barley! Okay. Is this barley? Yeah! Okay. So I need 75 of it in order to uh, hire somebody uh, to mine for me. The mining, I think, is the hardest part. Um, the barley might be helpful in terms of uh, getting, you know, food production going for more people. Because I gotta, I gotta make sure that I have food production, not just a tiny little farm plot that I don't think it's doing anything right now. To be honest, I'd be curious to see if it was. Click, click. Okay, so clicking like a madman doesn't actually help. It's just click, click, click. Hmm. Okay, how far are we? Uh, 96. I think that's good enough. That's, well, almost good enough. I need 100 so I can get a farmer too. Whoa! Oh, that was from the farm! Oh! Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, that was, that was amazing. Could we do more of that? <laughs> oh, okay. We have a food production system going on here. I'm excited about that. Uh, how do I, how do I put food into places? Can I, do I have to build a food storage site thing? What's food storage? 200 and 200, okay. So I have not nearly enough of either. Okay, back to cutting. Oh wait, hold on. Let's use one of these guys. Yeah, I've got a citizen, where is he? Where is he? Where's my citizen? Where is he? Do I not have one? Where is he? I got I got the barley. I did the thing. Did it take my barley? Yeah, it took my barley. So where's my citizen? Where's my first subject? Hmm. Does he have to walk in from somewhere? Maybe? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna cut this tree and then maybe through magic and through probably some patience, somebody will appear. I'm gonna watch though, if I can. Man, these trees, I can't see through them. <laughs> I wish there were transparent trees. This is why I'm trying to cut them all down, of course. It's because there are just too many trees. I wanna build like castle walls and get like a whole bunch of cool stuff going. I really do. I think that'd be amazing. I hope he gets stone, not just, like, iron. I mean, iron would be good, but I'd, I'd like it if he got, you know, stone for me, because that's the thing I'm, I don't want to work on. Smashing rocks with, you know, a pick is fun and all, but I do that in real life. I don't need to do that here. Um, okay, that's good enough. What is this? What is that? Oh, I got iron ore? When did that happen? When did I pick up iron ore? Is it, I guess I'll use this? Let's do it. How do I... Smell! <laughs> do it! Oh, hey, what? When did I get coal? Is that just in my storage? Hold on. Is he dry... Is... Am I missing something here? Is there stuff in my storage? No. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Whatever. Uh, I'm not going to look this gift horse in the mouth. I, I'm going to be very curious about it. You know, I'll, I'll inspect everywhere else. But, uh, hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'm expecting to see, like, somebody just pop out and is like, I'm the miner. Hello. If you find any gold, it's mine. <laughs> Something like that. Getting dark again. I don't like the dark. I was watching um, part of Castaway today, and uh, uh, it was the part before he did like the tooth thing and knocked out his tooth and you know had all the the, the problems. 
Uh, and he was just exploring the island, like, when he first got there. And I was kind of watching, you know, him do this, and I was thinking about, and I'm trying to put myself into his shoes. And then he kind of, like, looks in this cave and then kind of does, like, a uh-uh and, like, leaves. And I was like, yeah, I totally would not go in that cave either. It would take... Oh, hello. The world's gone bonkers again. Okay. Interesting. But uh, I, I totally, like, understand that, that feeling of, like, not wanting to go into caves. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've done that a few times, but I've always had someone with me, you know? And it, it always kind of feels a little bit better to have, like, another human being in, in your presence. People are, like, ten times braver when they have another person with them. If you're by yourself, you feel a little bit more vulnerable to uh, uh, tigers or whatever. Cave bears. Cave tigers. <laughs> Cave tigers, that's a, that's a thing now. Come on, I gotta to get to 200 so I can make the, the food storage. Which I'm guessing is just gonna be a box, I mean, with my luck. What? Oh, it does my own footsteps. It's weird, I can't consistently hit the same spot on this. Eventually, it decides to, like, hate me, and then... There, see, now I didn't move it, I don't think. I'm trying not to. Let's just keep testing that. I guess that's to keep you engaged a little bit, but nah. Nah. It's, it's staying rock solid now. <laughs> rock solid. Okay, that's good enough, I think, right? Wait. Yeah, okay, just barely enough. Now we can make the food storage, we can gather up all this food. Uh, I can't see a thing. Ah, torch, there we go. Where's our farm? That's way the heck out here somewhere. This is why I shouldn't have put it here. <laughs> I need to see where I'm going. I can't see it. All right. That torch is also very blinding. The lens flare on it is a little much. Um, my face is not made out of glass. Or I should say my eyes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that the farm? Why is it so tall? What is this? What, what am I doing here? Kill all this stuff. It's like really tall grass. It's like really tall grass. Look at that. Okay. I'm lost now. Oh, there we go. Okay. So where's my miner? Where's he at? I don't see him nowhere. Oh, oh, hey, who are you? Hey, 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 hey. <gasps> he's like, he's like Doc from uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Oh my gosh. He's, he's a miner, huh? All right. Can I talk to you? Can I... I mean, you're the first human being I've ever seen. I mean, a dwarf... Human... Dwarf... Dwarf being. Uh... Whoa! Don't hurt yourself there, man. Okay. He's, he's, he's just doing his thing, I guess. Alright. Cool. Alright, I need to... I need to go sleep. Where's my camp? There it is. This, this night time is obnoxious. They need to uh, uh, fix the torch. If you're going to give me a torch, play test it and make sure that like it looks nice. <laughs> All right, so uh, I've got 200 of each, roughly, I think. So uh, I needed the food steerage. Food, oh, no, the food producing is the far small farm, right? So uh, I need this. Okay, that's actually a little different. It's like a little grain silo. That's kind of cool. All right, let's put that right next to it. And skadoosh. Perfect. It's like, I don't know what is it. It's just a barrel with like a cone on top. Okay. A little silo. Miniature. Uh, okay, so what do I got? I have 36 food, which means food has gone down. I need to grab more food. Is that my barley? Is that my barley that I need to grab more of? No. Okay, well, let me go look for my little farm. There it is. <laughs> Somehow I thought that had turned into this. This monstrosity of grass. Very tall grass. Alright, give me the... Yeah, 50 barley. That's amazing. Okay, do I need, like, a cooking station in order to actually make food? Because uh, I'm a little worried about that now. I haven't really thought this through, I don't think. Alright. Well, what do I need for a cooking station? And 200 and 100. Okay. 200 oak. I have 70, so let's go cut down a tree. 
or attempt to cut down these ridiculous trees that are impossible to kill. Yeah, there we go. Got to cut at the base of it. You can see the little trailing. I'm, I'm, it's got to be... I don't know what that is. What causes that? I don't have a lot of gaming, like, uh, um, programming knowledge. I tried using the Unreal Development Kit a, a couple times, and I managed to make, like, a door open. <laughs> you know, really basic, basic stuff. Um, but you learn a lot conceptually about how other people make games. And uh, I gotta say, like, I'm impressed with what these guys are doing here. It's actually really nice. I couldn't do these kind of, like, static meshes, these trees here. Uh, much less make them kind of wave in the imaginary breeze that's constant. So, I, you gotta give them credit for that. It's like a metronome. Alright, hey. <laughs> Don't get off beat. There we go. Do I have enough? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's go get the last of that stone. Um, is he is he just constantly... Does he ever sleep? I mean, this guy works hard. I guess he went to the nearest stone source, so that'd be over here, huh? Oh! I got... Uh, oh, okay. I, I get... I get news notifications, and I didn't realize that they were audible like that. Okay. Where's... Where, 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 where was I when I <laughs> when I met this guy? Oh, we're here. Here we go. <gasps> He's back. Alright, we're gonna work on this one together. Are you ready? And... Go! Alright. And two... Uh, okay, you're done? You're done? Already? But I, I'm still working over here, guys. Hey. Oh. Alright. I guess I'll just keep working. How much does he give me? I just want to watch... Watch the inventory for a second here. Because I'm, I'm gathering up stuff. I don't know what to do with it, but... I'm gathering up things. I think he just gave me four coal. Whatever. Oh, wow, that's a extensive inventory it slides I didn't realize that ah come on there we go how much stone do I have almost enough one two three and it's probably more than enough so let's go build that um, cooking station oh well would you look at that all right well let's build that because um, that's kind of more like a ah, camping type deal Looks like a camping type deal. Let's build it over here somewhere, huh? Why is it so far down on my horizon? Okay, there we go. Um, I guess... Put it right there. Alright! Let's cook. Let's do this. How do I do stuff? F? Yeah. Oh, that's for the furnace. How do I... Put all this stuff in there, though. Oh, you drag and drop. Oh, smelt that stuff. Yeah. Oh, do I literally have to click every time? Oh, okay. Come on. Don't make me do that. That's just needless work. Developer. <laughs> that's that's unnecessary. It should. It. I mean, every other game that I know of, they don't make you do it that way. Click every time. Okay. 19, and that's it. Okay, so I got some uh, iron bars now, I guess. How do I... Can I cook things, or... Do I have to... Eh. Okay, so can I drag that onto... Onto anything here, and... Eh. Do I have to drag it into my storage? Is that how this works? I need more food, and I feel like there's a problem. I mean, what happens if they run out of food? Do my subjects decide that it's time to eat me instead? How much food do I have now? 40! How'd that go up? I don't know. I'm just gonna train a farmer. Actually make it two farmers. And a lumberjack. There we go. Alright, this place should be crawling with people! Where are they? 
Do they just spawn in here, or how does it work? I don't see anybody. I mean, I know that the other guy's out there mining, but... Yeah, okay, he's coming back, but where are the other ones? Oh, hello! Hi there! Oh, oh my. Hello. Oh, uh, are you farmers, or... Yeah, you must be farmers, huh? Okay. Oh my. This game just got very interesting. Um, I can't, I don't know if I can play this with my eyes closed. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me see, what else do I need here? I need a house for people, right? So I can increase the maximum storage. Uh, professions, a blacksmith. Oh, smell, oh, okay. I forgive you, I forgive you game developers. I didn't realize that this does things automatically. So this is the sucky version to do it. You have a better one if you go to make a blacksmith. I see now. So they just go out and do that stuff? Well, what about using like my little farm plot that I made over here? Do they, they, do they know that it exists? I hope they do. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these eventually. Yeah, barley for everybody, including me. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me, okay, what do I need to make the blacksmith, exactly? Eh. Uh, you have reached the maximum amount of citizens. This building is something I, what? Oh, so that creates a, a, um, that creates a citizen with it, I'm guessing. So I need to make a house first. Oh, boy. Okay, so do I want to go for broke here and do that? I mean, that's just cutting, you know, things, uh, only. So let, let's do that. No, no stone mining, which, you know, sucks. It really sucks. Cutting trees is at least somewhat quick. I just have to do this 200 times and then I'm there. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> Definitely not going to cut or count every single time. Oh, boy. Can I look up? Okay, I, I just, I don't like looking at the ground in games. I look at the ground too much in real life when I'm walking around. Like, um... I don't know what it is, but for some reason, like, I always am... I notice things whenever I'm doing, like, adventures and that kind of stuff. Like, I see stuff on the ground first before anybody else. Like, on, on one of our trips, we were out looking for um, uh, the Dominator Shipwreck. It's actually up on the YouTube channel. Feel free to take a look at it. It's, you know, we, we're, we were learning just how to record and everything at that point. So give me a break on all the, the uh, recording abilities that we have or how, how bad the recording is. But um, the, the point is, we did this adventure where we went out to go look for a shipwreck, um, and the, on the way in, there's this big rocky beach that you walk on, and uh, I mean like big, big boulders like that big, you know, that kind of thing. And it's kind of rough terrain, but so for me, when I was doing it, I was just like, my eyes are glued to the floor, that's all I'm looking at. And uh, the other Kyle, he's much more sure-footed than I am, so he just was, like, booking it. He, like, was hopping across the, the rocks and boulders and things. But I was rewarded for looking at the ground by finding a fossil. It's actually sitting on the shelf behind me, but you guys can't see it because I covered it with a tarp. I think it's... Eh. Anyway, the point is that uh, um, I don't know what it is, but for me, I just tend to look at the floor a lot when I'm walking... Uh, it doesn't matter if I'm doing, like, a walk on a sidewalk or on rocky boulders. It's just, I look at the floor a lot. So, uh, I don't like doing that in video games. It, it One, you can't, what, what are you looking at, you know? And two, it's just not fun. Reminds me too much of real life. <laughs> Do I have a thousand yet? Ugh, getting there. Hey, there go the farmers. My beautiful, beautiful farmers. Very beautiful. I just close my eyes. <laughs> so where's my lumberjack, though? Where is he at? I don't see him. Hmm. I wonder what he looks like. I'm guessing he's got the red plaid shirt and the, the beanie cap and a beard and... <laughs> If he looks the same as the old man, I'm going to be a little disappointed, because that would be just lazy um, at that point. There comes the darkness spreading across the land. <laughs> okay. Come on. We're almost there. We're, like, another 20, 40 hits-ish. Man, they're farming fast. 
Might okay, I wanna see how much I get for this. Drop off your stuff. And okay, so they give you five every time. That's kinda cool. Alright, alright. And between that and the miner, like give me like two ore every time, roughly. Between two and four, depending on it seems like uh randomness. Um, I feel like I've got a little bit of an economy going here. Now, there's nothing going out, you know, except for me building things, so there's that. Almost there. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just glad that I have all the iron bars I need for this. Because I literally have no idea how to get iron bars <laughs> other than uh, through that guy, so. We've got everything we need to make a very large house. Whoa! Okay, how do I... Let's cancel that for a second here. Oh god, that's huge. Okay, so... Where do I want to build that? Um, okay, I need to look up a little bit. Maybe that'll help me spot... Okay, I was hoping to place it farther away, but that is so huge! Oh, that is so cool! I can't I can't place this in good faith at night. I, it, I mean, it's not night yet, according to the game, because the sky hasn't turned into stars yet, but... I, you know, it feels, if you just look down at the floor, like I was saying, nothing to see really, especially when it's dark like this. It's such a weird lighting condition. What is this stuff? Is that just more rocks? Yeah, it is. Stone. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, what's going on now? Oh, that's right. Okay, so does that last little, like... <laughs> weird ray of light that it, there's like a hole in the mountain just a tiny little hole and it just shines light everywhere it's like a giant flashlight that's cool and it's so weird and now it's gone okay by the time i get back it'll probably be night actual night time i see the stars starting to creep in i think i can probably whoa whoa oh jesus <laughs> now it's a horror game it's scary sleep till day wow that was really quick and sleepy time. Where is my lumberjack? I have not met him yet. You are not the lumberjack. Where is he? He's going to be carrying an axe like this, right? So, where is the lumberjack? It's not like he has to go very far to gather his resources. He eventually has to come back here, right? Let me see. Yeah, I've gotten a little bit more than what I had before. Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll eventually find him. I mean... Or he'll eventually find me. I'm not quite sure how that works. Uh, can't really see the house, but I'll place it. You, you two are in the way. Okay, can I just... Right... Right... Yeah, right there. Very dark. Very dark house. Oh, crap, I placed it backwards. <laughs> oh, no! Wait, where's the entrance? Is that the entrance? Where, where's the door? There is no door to this house. That's impossible. That's impossible. Where's the door? <laughs> okay. Not questioning anything. How are we doing on food? Okay, food is going up, which is good. Uh, very good. So I have a lumberjack. I feel like I need more. More, 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 more. Uh, I have 166 stuff, so that means that... Let me manage my town. Okay. Um, oh, wait, wait. I was supposed to build the uh, uh, blacksmith, right? So I need 1,200 of the... Okay. Oh, God. I need more miners. Give me more miners. Okay, I guess I can't have any more. <laughs> eh. I'm going to have a whole bunch of people before too long. I wonder what the, what the limits are to all this, though. I, I get the feeling there's going to be some performance hits coming my way as, as more of these things kind of have to plot their their courses and you know run their little routines. It's going to be like 100 citizens, I think, or something like that. It's going to start hitting my computer. We'll see. I got three miners now. And let's add another farmer in. Another two farmers. I, I feel like I need to have at least... As many farmers, like 50% of my population should be farmers. Um, but I could be wrong. So... Do you just spawn, like, out here or something? Or what? what's the deal? 
Oh, hey. Okay, where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? These guys here are, are doing their thing. I don't see the lumberjack anywhere, though. Okay, let's run up this road here a little bit. See where they're coming from. Hello. Nice to meet you. They all have dreadlocks or something. Uh... Is it just you? How many more farmers? I thought I got two more of you. Oh, the other one's just ahead. Okay. It's like dressed up like a gypsy or something. I don't know. It just makes me think of, um... Oh, hey! Okay, there's the other, uh, miners, I guess. There's three of you now. So where are my lumberjacks? Well, I only have one, right? You know... My chances of finding the lumberjack will uh, go up dr drastically once I uh, start making more of them, right? So I should just train more of them. Ah, right. Food issues. I only have 36 foods. Uh, eight food per 30 seconds. Oh, boy. <laughs> we are going to run out of food. And then my people are going to starve. It's not going to be good. Uh, I need I need to get the barleys. I guess to. I just I need more farmers. I think more than anything else, because food and water are the now important things. I just realized I haven't been increasing my water supply at all either. So <laughs> maybe I should be careful um, before doing anything else like that. How are we doing on that? Water's pretty good right now. I think. Um, I mean, I, I really don't know how quickly it's producing. It seems to be doing better than the food is, at least. So, I hope that I don't have to build like 20 different wells or something like that. I, I, I feel like that one well there should be enough for a good number of people. Assuming, you know, that <laughs> it wasn't the world's worst well. Well, well, well. Okay. So I need a thousand oak, two hundred stone, and I've got uh, almost two hundred stone already. Thank you, uh, miners, for doing your job. I'm just gonna work on cutting trees and hope that by the time I get to a thousand, I'll be there. Also, this is the kind of stuff that, like, you know, professional YouTubers they cut out so that you don't have to watch it because they want it to be all about the the not the journey. It's not not about the journey for them. It's about the destination. They just want to do things, you know, don't want to show the hard work of clicking that left mouse button over and over and over again. Is there a console? Can I cheat? No. <laughs> it's not like Subnautica. <clears throat> I think inherently uh, resource gathering type games don't necessarily go very well um, for most people in terms of streaming. And it's because you have to kind of figure out how to fill in all that in between time. I have fun with it, you know, I, I always try to, to at least have a positive attitude when I'm gathering resources, but it is a little bit annoying after a while. Uh, I still am very curious as to why all those trees over there are lined up in nice neat rows and columns. I don't know why, but they are. Alright, a third of the way there! Can I, is there any birds I can get in this tree while well, at the same time? How high can I gather these resources? <laughs> eh. Time it. Amp. How big is the hitbox for this thing? I mean, once you go up, like, it doesn't matter where you aim. Oh, wait, hold on. You gotta time it. No? Okay, so there is a, there is a, a limit. I'm guessing it's just a, a singular column that goes all the way up the tree. And you have a limit, you know, as to your range, so I'm sure if I jumped, I could probably hit a higher part. Nope. Oh, okay. Interesting. Just marvel at the uh, scenery and be on the lookout for lumberjacks. They're out here somewhere doing their jobs, supposedly. <laughs> I think I need more uh, barley farms. I'm going to guess. But I want the blacksmith. I want the blacksmith first. How are we doing on that? 180 stone. They're, they're going to beat me to it. They're faster at... Well, okay, they're not faster at it, but they, they're they doing their jobs. It's great. I love it when a game comes together like this. My favorite games are um, 
the the kind of building type games like Minecraft I think is going to always have a place for me but uh, I don't play it very much anymore, and that's just because there's nothing really new to it in terms of customization, um, building blocks, and all that kind of stuff that, not not recently that I can think of. Uh, I mean, it's been a little while since I played it, so who knows, but uh, um, I kind of felt like I'd been playing it too much because I was making entire cities, you know, just kind of doing what I'm doing now, um, but, you know, for hours and hours and hours and hours on end. I mean, if you give me enough time and enough of resolve, you know, uh, enough of a, a goal to try and go towards, like, I would transfer the, transform this whole valley into a, a, a city before too long. Uh, I, I just kind of, I like building worlds. There's something to it, you know. Um, I don't know what it is. I really, I really wish I could uh, say. Boop. Boop. Are we almost there? Almost there. Oh, they've already reached their goal. Well, darn. I was racing them. In my head, I was. I didn't... I don't think I verbally acknowledged that I was racing them at any point, but... In my head, I was. And I lost. Oh, look. It's all nice and lit up there now. There needs to be wildlife in this game. You need to have a sword. There needs to be wildlife or a spear. You know, whatever. You need to have something that feels threatening. You know, it needs needs to be some tension besides running into women in the wilderness and being scared as, <laughs> as they suddenly appear. What are you doing? You're just standing there. Why are you just standing there? Why are you... I can literally walk right through you. That's really weird. Okay, I'm just gonna put this out there. You could, you could work with everybody else if you feel like it. I mean, it's kind of like a, a hippie commune kind of thing. We're all working together on this, right, guys? I'm passive-aggressive, guys! <laughs> uh, what kind of king am I? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, okay, that's not the lumberjack. Dang it! <laughs> Where is that guy? I wonder if there even is a lumberjack. There might not be. It's kind of occurred to me that that's possible. Oh, I, okay, good. I can still get these trees, too. Are we there yet? Oh, we are more than there. Perfect. All right, let's build that blacksmith right. Oh, ooh. Now that is fancy. Uh, let's put that right in. No, I need to rotate it so it looks like it's coming out of the house. Uh, I don't know if I can do that actually now. Eh. I might have messed this one up. If I build this. Ah, uh, shoot. I'm kind of worried that if I, I break it down, I won't get any of the materials back. Okay. I just I want to build it such that it looks like it's part of the house next door. Uh, without sitting inside of the water storage thing. I can build it on this side of the house, I guess. Just kind of rotate. Fire everywhere! Yeah, like right there. Right there. Okay, I feel reasonably happy with this arrangement, except for the tree that's growing into this stupid... Can I kill the tree? I, I gotta... I gotta... Gotta be able to kill the tree. Let me kill the tree. Come on, please. How do I destroy things? I must... I must destroy it. No, I don't want to destroy the building. Not if it means I have to mine all that stone and, and get all that lumber again. I want to get rid of the tree. Why won't you let me destroy the environment? Okay. Uh, so I guess... Yeah, let's see if that unlocked anything. Any other profession things here? No. Okay, well, let's let's try it out. Let's try it out. Or does it just automatically, magically make it happen? I don't know. Oh, hey, there goes some ore that disappears. Do I get another iron bar? Yeah, it's taking ore away. I have a drain on my ore. But I don't have any coal disappearing either. I don't think. Hmm. 
Interesting. So where are my iron bars? Yeah, come on. Okay. Can I can I just can I interact with this thing in some way? Should I not have put it slightly into the house? I feel like that might have been a mistake now. Oh, this is this was placed so poorly. Oh, don't 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 screw me over. Did I do it? Oh, it's gone. Okay. Do I have any Oh, well that sucks. I didn't even get a single iron bar from it. <laughs> this is actually better to use right now, personally. Or fuel smelt. <clears throat> no refunds for destroying things, huh? No, I do, I do not want to destroy this building. Can I make that a no? Like a heck no? Um, how do I do this? No. Okay, here we go. Ah, good. There we go. It's daytime. The lighting on the buildings is a little off, too. The lighting is coming directly overhead all the time, and I feel like that's a mistake. Maybe. I don't know. Give it time. Maybe the sun will change that. We'll see. Alright, so what else can I build besides the uh, blacksmith? There's cooking station, food storage, water storage, uh, buildings, tavern. Let's do the tavern. Uh, raises maximum population by 14. Well, okay, how about we try something smaller first, like the house. But I need I need help with this one. Get some lumberjacks in here. Oh, we need food. Like, pronto. Okay. So I need more, what, like small farm plots or something? Or how do I do this? Do I need more... How do I do this? How do I get more food? Uh, let's take a look at the thing that it gave me here. I need a storage shed. I need to gather some berries for my food storage. I need to build a well for my water storage. I need some citizens. Okay, so I need berries? Where do I get berries from? Obviously some bushes, but where? Is this a berry bush? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, uh, there's my farm. Okay, got my barley. Try again on this one, maybe. Oh, oh, red berries. Oh, okay, so is this just like getting me food? Is that how it works? I don't know. I, I have to check to see if suddenly my food reserves are going to be like spiked up. <laughs> In which case, that's fine, um, except that, you know, every 30 seconds I lose 8 food. So, I need more farmers, I think. Honestly, that's the only thing I can really think of. That or maybe the small farms just kind of, they allot you a certain amount every uh, uh, so often. Be kind of curious to find out if that's how it works. Okay, so I got food. Let's go run back and see what we're at. Hopefully not zero. <laughs> Uh, and 38. All right, so that really helped out. Um, the, maybe it's the cooking station. Like, I need a lot of these things, or I don't know. Resources. Small farm plot. Can we do uh, not enough resources? Uh, of course not. Uh, wait, how are we doing on... Okay, so just a few more. We're going to test to see if this helps out. Okay, that should be enough, right? Probably. Small farm. Hey, now I can see it. Ah, okay, okay. I can't see it at all now. Uh, that's probably good right there. Oh, crap. <laughs> they overlap. I didn't do it right. <laughs> I can't see what I'm... Uh, um, doing that that's part of the problem with like building from this kind of perspective and also the way that it kind of sits below the surface a little bit makes it a little difficult to tell what's going on so uh, I'd rather it be like a little raised garden almost that would be kind of cool uh, so you could see what was going on but that's okay you know it is what it is food's still going down I need farmers get me more farmers and let's get some more lumberjacks so that I can see 
hopefully a lumberjack <laughs> before this game decides to, to crap out on me. Is that a lumberjack? Are you a lumberjack? You're, you got a hammer. What's your deal? Why do you got a hammer? Are you a lumberjack? You're not carrying the, the tool like the other guy. Oh. Okay, where are you going? Where are you off to, Mr. Mr. Person, you? You meeting a special lady friend out there? Oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh, is that the lumberjack? No way. Is that what he's been doing? They just they just bounce back and forth out here? Is that why I never see him? He's got an axe? Yeah. These guys are all the male characters. Those ladies with the... Um, <coughs> large tracts of land are, uh, uh, what in the world are you doing? Are the, all the female characters. What on earth were you, what were you, I don't understand what just happened. What happens if I try to get this stuff? What was he mining or going for? Is there something here that I don't know of? Hmm. I don't know. So many questions. Okay, just watch the inventory. Oh, he just gave me an iron bar. Is he the blacksmith? He must be the blacksmith. Oh. Hi, blacksmith. I didn't realize that I destroyed your home or your workshop. Okay, I get it now. So do I have at least, like, some more food coming in, or am I about to lose all... Oh, I'm a lot of food again. Twelve food every 30 seconds. How do I get more of that? Do I literally have to build more of these soup kitchen things, or what the heck? I really hope not. I don't want to, like, have to line up these these stupid things. It doesn't look very, like, villagey. You know, I, I'd rather it be you have to build, like, the farm plots, in which case I probably need a lot more of those, I'm gonna guess. So let's build a whole bunch of farm plots. And how much do I need? Oh, good. Our guys are, are working overtime hours here and really helping out. So I just need to, you know, get a couple hundred uh, oak logs and then I'll be able to make a whole bunch of farm plots. And we'll see if that makes a difference. If it doesn't, then we got a problem. Because then I have to make, like, soup kitchens or something. And I don't want to do that. I really don't. Look at all my people. All my subjects. Going around blissfully unaware of the ty tyranny that awaits them. Oh, they have no idea. <laughs> Boop -ba -doop -doop -doo. Okay, that's almost good enough for two. Okay, so we got two now. Uh, let's run out there and build ourselves some more farming plots. A little weird that you can overlap them, but I'm not, not complaining. Oh, can, what if I, can I build it right there? Oh my gosh, it just hovers. And you can jump on it. Oh my gosh. I can make a stairway. <gasps> okay, all right. Oh yes, this is, this is very cool. Raised terraces indeed. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. All right, so we gotta uh, stagger it just a little bit here. Hold on. Uh, rotate. Boop. Ah. Hold on. Ah. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm climbing up. Can I... <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, so the higher that I move, the better, um, or the higher that goes. But uh, when I'm standing on these things, it actually goes slightly higher than that even. So that's kind of cool. Kind of cool to note. Hmm. Uh, how much do I have now? No wood. These lumberjacks are lazy. <laughs> I should have gotten at least 10 wood in that time from them. I mean, I'm not giving them a high bar, but... Oh! Wow, okay. That actually... they Okay. I think they gave me like 20 or 30 there. I apologize. So are they literally just grabbing barley and bringing it back? Like I don't, I don't know what their their deal is. Like are they? Some of them have to be making food, right? By now. No, we're still at zero food, and we're also at pretty much zero water. Oh god, this is turning into some sort of horrifying like 
everyone's gonna die simulator. But it doesn't seem to matter. Nobody seems to care that there's no food. Yet. <laughs> They'll turn into zombies or something afterwards, you know, then I'll be like, okay, there's a problem. But I don't see the point in building any of that stuff. Um, worrying about gardens and, and water. These people have enough, maybe, I don't know, to sustain themselves. If there's no uh, repercussions to it, then it's not much of a, uh, a challenge. There's no... This, this isn't a game in that sense, then. I mean, obviously, it's a city-building game type thing, so it's not going to have the same kind of challenges that, like, an adventure game or a puzzle game would. But I mean, it's, it's about management, right? It's about getting your resources in order and still maintaining kind of the, the kingdom of your dreams, you know what I mean? And so far... They really rock out on the graphics. I mean, there's a lot of bugs, like the floating gardens and the gardens that are kind of submerged into the ground a little bit. They need to standardize all of that. Um, the other thing is you need to be able to remove trees. Trees must be able to die. Um, and I would even say, like, just make it so that trees only have so much, you know, wood and that you, when you cut it down, you get, like, a big bonus of wood. Um, but that's it. You know, then the tree's gone forever. Which would mean that you have to, like, plant new ones or something, you know? Oh, this tree decided it gave up. Okay. Do I have enough wood to do something now? Probably. What do I need? Uh, another house. I want to see what the small house is about. Let's, maybe that has a door. I don't know. In which case, I can just tack it on as an add-on to the other house and say, There's the front door! <laughs> so I need 600. I'm almost there. How much stone do I have? Oh, I got enough for whatever I need to do. Boop, ba -doop, boop. <gasps> okay, we got enough. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, build that small house. Oh, well, that's just adorable, too. It doesn't have a front door either. Can I do something that I really want to do? I can make the house float if I wanted to. <laughs> That's a problem, guys. I mean, you could call it a feature, but it's it's not like, uh, um, what was it, that, that Space Defender, Space Alien Defenders or something like that game where like the more enemies that you destroyed, the quicker it went. And that's what kind of made the game so endearing to people way back in the day. Alright, let's uh, Wizard of Oz this thing and just right there. Yeah, now if I can build garden terraces up to it. Hmm. Now we're onto something. Your food has run out in one of your city. Oh! Alright, well, my food is gone, which means that my citizens are dying by the millions, I'm sure. Um. I don't know how to make more food, though. I, I imagine it's cooking stations, but I don't want to make, like, 50 of these things. Uh, how much does it cost to make one? Cooking station. 200 and 100 stone. Okay. So 200 wood, 100 stone. Don't have enough for either, but, uh, you know, man can dream. Let's see if making a second or third cooking stone, just make a couple of them, see if that makes a difference. I suspect not. But we'll see. Did my blacksmith die, maybe? I'm kind of hoping he did, actually, because I wasn't really using him for anything. Nope, he's still alive and well, taking all my copper stuff or whatever. I don't know. He's doing something. Also, I think, like, the iron and copper or whatever um, deposits should probably be separate from the uh, stone. Like, you could... There, there's a bunch of ways you can you can make these kind of games, and I'm not going to tell these guys exactly what to do. I'm just throwing out suggestions. Like, yeah, try this, try that. It's like um, uh, Kalina Legacy. I love the game. One thing I would suggest is make it first person, not third person. It's a suggestion. Now, I might phrase it as like, oh, make this third person or first person or whatever, you know, but in reality, it's like me suggesting it, you know, like, come on. Give it a try. See what happens. Maybe you'll surprise yourself. Kind of like how I surprised myself today uh, with my archaeology research. I found out that a coin that I had recovered from the site we were working on uh, that I thought was from uh, Britain actually was from Thailand. Figure, Go figure, right? Uh, 
you would think that those are pretty easy to tell apart, you know, those two countries. Your food has run out and one of your citizens has died. Okay, well, which one died this time? It's killing my lumberjacks. Lumberjacks and miners first, of course. The things that I, the people that I use to actually build things. Okay, well, I got 500, which is enough to make, um, I think, two cooking stations on the wood side. Yeah, so I need to gather stone now. Hooray! Let's go row with the other slaves. <laughs> and clink. I really do think that this this should be a game about kind of managing limited resources too. Like you can make it challenges where um, based on certain criteria on a certain map, you have to build a city with such and such, you know, specifications. And uh, you have limited resources to do it in, you know, like these rocks and things disappear after a while. Can I? It's weird because I just have to like hunt for a new spot on the rock to dig. It's not consistent, you know what I mean? Not to mention that I can't just like wildly flail at it. It's like clink, clink, clink. Almost there. I just need, uh, how much? <laughs> Is it a hundred? Okay, so I just need a hunt or uh, a little bit more so I can make two of them. Two, or six, eight, ten. <laughs> the live stream has literally devolved into me counting even numbers. <laughs> uh, even so, this is a cool game. I I think I I came to it a little too soon, but that's early access. You know, I, I like to hold these kind of people to task because if you're putting a game out to be judged and on early access, that's the reason why you're putting it up. Not because you want everybody to play it right away. It's because you want you may want. Uh, people to play right, right away, but you what you're really after is the critique. You want people to tell you like, hey, this works. Hey, this doesn't. You want people to see your work so they can judge it for you. Because as much as you know, I might be able to um, you know check myself in terms of you know whatever I'm game I'm working on. You you can't get everything. Uh, a fresh set of eyes is often the best solution to solving a problem. Okay. So let's go ahead and... And that counts for everything, too, not just game-making. I mean, your food has run out and one of my citizens has died again. Man, I'm going to have to replace all these people. That was a farmer, too, not the ladies. Okay. So then let's go ahead and make some cooking stations, I suppose. What's that? Okay. Uh... God, I can't see a thing. Let's go in the tent and sleep. Sleep till day. Look, it's day. All right. I really can't see what I'm doing on this. Okay. Getting awfully quiet in this village <laughs> without people uh, around to make it not quiet. Okay. So rotate the table. And perfect. Well, like 90% of the way perfect. <laughs> the back legs are kind of attached to the building, but whatever. I'm not going to question it. I'm going to um, build the second one, though. And where do I want to put that? See, I, I want to make this, like, perfect and nice right here. But, like, I honestly, if this is going to be the way that I think it's going to be... Uh, this is gonna be like the area that I just say like screw it. I don't care what happens on this side of the village This is like the the dump zone for everything All right, so let's see if that makes an impact on our resource usage here Because our water seems to be holding out just barely. Oh I see okay, so it went oh well that's because people died It's not because of the stuff that I did here, but our food is gone going up now and I think it has to do with this. I really do. I think that those made the difference. Yeah. That's dumb. You have to have like 50 of these. My food has not run out. Look at all that food I have. You killed off one of my farmers just because you didn't like him. <laughs> I got a lot of farmers. Or uh, uh, barley I can use to hire people to do things for me. I'm going to get a lot of miners and things here before I uh, start really running out. Get more people. 
Okay, well, we're out of, all out of room now, so I need to make a new house. Now, there should be a whole bunch of people just rushing in all of a sudden. Um, in which case, I'm hoping that the food still stays steady. I just saw it go up. That's good, right? <laughs> 20. It's going up still. It's the water. I need to... I need to save the, the village from their, themselves, because the water well is what I need now. Okay, so I've got enough to make one well. I'm going to get just enough to make a second one. There we go. Now let's go mine some some stone and then make two more wells, and I'm going to throw them in the boonies somewhere where I don't care what happens. We'll put it in the trash zone. Serious? Okay. Two. I need 150 to make one, so I need 300 stone. It's going to take a little while. <laughs> Are you, you getting sick and tired? or Whoa, hey, all right, got a whole bunch of you coming in here. I'm sincerely hoping that they're just going to be getting stone for me and nothing else. Because I don't need iron. I've got more than I know what to do with it. I'm not seeing any promises here, or promising results. One, your food has run out and one of your citizens has died again. Well, dang it. That sucks. Oh, hey, okay, so they are giving me a little bit of stone each time. So this isn't going to take as long as I thought, but it's still going to take a lot. Almost there. Man, I got a lot of coal. Are you guys done? I like how they just go... It's like kind of like a weird wiggly move. It's not just... It's not just uh, them swinging their pickaxe. There's a bit of a motion to it, like a dance almost. And we are done. Okay. So let me see how that jives out here. Water well. Come with me, Mr. Water well. We're going to build you in a weird spot. Uh, right there is good. And then uh, let's build a second one. Somebody's poisoning the water well, right? Uh, there's good too. Kind of want to see if I can jump on it. And, oh, shoot, I messed up. Come on, let me hip, hippity hop all the way over. Come on. And, dang it. Nope. Yeah. Okay, so I need to get all this barley. That'll help me replace the uh, minions that I've already lost. I've got so much barley, it's crazy. Alright, so, uh... Accordingly, I should not have run out of anything ever. Uh, I don't know what the point of building water storage is. It seems like the biggest thing is making sure that you have enough um, water coming in and out of the, the resources here. So I feel like I didn't build enough of these. I'm at zero still. Oh, five. Okay. Oh, boy. So you need more water wells than you need cooking stations. That's interesting. Or are we just keeping up with par here? Just barely. Yeah, we're just barely keeping up. So it seems like what happens... Um, I, I figured out, I think, the water um, here. You get five water per 30 seconds. Because uh, watch, when the other two like sets of five come in, it's going to be like, do, do. And that was me just putting them in quickly. Like, pow, pow. So here comes the other one. Boop. Boop. See? So those two were really close together, and that was because that was distance or the time that it took me to to place the two wells. So it's it's five water every 30 seconds. I'm guessing it's also uh, five food, maybe ten food every 30 seconds for the, the cooking stations. I don't know why that is. 
Um, maybe they thought I'd be okay with having more wells than I would with cooking stations. The other part is I feel like that's really low. Uh, a well, like a good well, should be able to you know get at least a couple dozen people, you know, uh, uh, covered. I mean, like if you think about it in like stories and 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 uh, um, you know history and stuff like that, you wouldn't have like fifteen wells, you know, or like three wells to like fifteen people. You know what I mean? Like you'd have one well. And then people would just kind of periodically grab water for the day, you know. You have people constantly kind of grabbing at it, but depending on how big the population is around it. But certainly not uh, a three to one kind of thing where it's like, I, I think it's like you get two food, or no, you get like three food, or what is it? Hold on. What is the usage from people? Um, I have 15, okay, so it's one, so five to one, it's not five people to one water well. If that was the case... Oh my gosh, the <laughs> the the numbers would be astronomical. Five people to one well. That's uh, that's pretty bad. Um, but you know, it is what it is. There, there's some tweaking, like balancing, I think that's necessary for that. But in either case, uh, I don't think there's anything really for me to build except for the tavern now, and I kind of am hesitant to even try it because it's just lots of wood. Can I kill off all my other citizens so I can <laughs> build a or get nothing but lumberjacks to help out. Ugh. Lumberjacking is what I do. It's 1700 for uh, a tavern, and I feel like it... I think all it does is... Um, hold on. I keep doing this wrong. It raises the population by 14, so... That's like a super house, basically. The tavern just increases the capacity of your people to love you and worship you. So, um, I don't know what else there is for me to do, except for maybe to run off in a, I thought I heard something, in a direction and just kind of explore, but even then, I get the feeling it's going to be more of the same the whole time. So we're just going to run in this direction for a little bit and see if anything kind of new and neat pops up, like this weird, strange grove of trees that are planted in perfectly straight rows and columns. I can't see what's going on! Oh my gosh! <laughs> ah. Okay, that was interesting. Look at that. They're all at weird angles, too. It's like they're all tilted to the side. Leaning Tower of Trees. Of Treesa. Uh, I don't know. These are the jokes, people. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I don't think there's really anything else for me to see. I want to try and climb these mountains if I can, but I sincerely doubt that I'm going to succeed at that. I can try. I certainly can try. I wonder if I can make like a system of uh, uh, farm plots that go up to the top of the mountain. That would be interesting in and of itself, but not very much so actually. Up we go. Time to try and break the game. That's what I do when I'm when I run out of everything else to do, is this... Is this as far as I go? Oh no, okay, we're good. Now it's like, it's like jumping on mountains in like Skyrim and stuff like that. You have to kind of like, you have to really kind of weasel your way around. And uh, wherever they put grass, they generally allow you to climb. It's a weird uh, gameplay mechanic feature. If I just walk, am I okay? I'm, I'm okay right now, I can just walk it. <laughs> oh. Okay, meet and resistance now. Okay, now I have to build farm plots. <laughs> Come on, let me do this. Oh, that would be so great if I could uh, build farm plots up to the top of the mountain, but it looks like these are sitting a little bit below me, so I don't know if I can. I can try. Yeah, I wonder, let me get to a lower part of the mountains here and see if that helps. Whoa. Oh, there's, yeah, there's definitely, like, a, a gradient limit here for me to climb. These mountains are coming, like, out over me. That is so kind of creepy looking, almost. Okay, come on. Let me out of here. I want out of this canyon! Oh, shoot. I think I'm not making any progress anymore. Yeah. 
Uh. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh, there's got to be a way to make this work. Okay, okay. Let's try and build a farm plot right over here somewhere so I can jump to it. If I can build one, I should be able to build enough to, to get what I need. Okay, so I can build one. Uh, I want to build it, like... I don't think I can get to that. That's the problem. Okay, maybe that I can get to. Let's try it. Oh no, it's getting dark very quickly! Oh! Okay. Uh, yes! Yes! Oh, right! We are in business! Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna try. We're gonna, we're gonna try this. I, I really do want to see if we can break the game. All right, so uh, small farm plot. I don't know if I can jump this, but I think they get slightly higher every time. So if I kind of stand off to the side, place it. No. Oh shoot! I didn't make that jump. Okay, we we can get back there. We can get we can get back. I didn't make the jump right. I I screwed that up. I messed it up. Oh look, you can see through them at the from the bottom. <laughs> I don't hold that against the programmers. I don't think they ever imagined somebody like me would be trying to do this to their game. I just mess things up. Oh, come on. We did this once. We can do it again. Do I need to get on the other side of this? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now we're climbing. Okay. So just kind of move horizontally. And we should reach the desired point that we were at before, pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no. Okay, don't slide down the mountain. No! Oh, come on. We're so close. Do I need to build another farm plot <laughs> to try and make it to the rest of these farm plots? I don't know. I'm gonna try... I'm just gonna kind of pattern the ground with it and see if I can if I make enough of them it should be okay um, let's get a little higher up there's one okay oh no okay uh, I messed that up again come on get the torch out this really blinding torch that I absolutely hate <laughs> this torch is just torture yeah uh, no okay <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Now we're good. I don't want this. I want this instead. I'm going to build a few more plots. See if I can use them to save myself. If I fall anywhere. Right there. Yeah. Just kind of hippity hop over. Okay. Now. Jump. Oh, no. I messed it up. Oh, crap. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. We might, be able to still, we might still be able to salvage this. Um... Small farm plot. I can't see where I'm placing this, but I'm going to hope that that's a good place. Yeah, that looks great. Okay. There we go. And now another farm plot to lead me over to there. Yeah. Oh, no, the game crashed. Oh. All right. I, I brought the game to its knees. I officially consider that a victory for me. But, uh... That was uh, Realm of Rulers, or Realm of Rulers, as I said in the beginning. Um, so, I guess, let me bring this uh, out of here. Um, what do I think about the game? I, I don't know, I, I can't really make heads or tails of it. It feels super rough, but it's it looks nice. So, obviously, if it's a small team of people, which I get the feeling it is, it's, was it, um, Alchemy interactive or something like that um what's the name of it Al alchemical interactive uh, i'm gonna guess that that's a small group of people but they are dedicated to what they're doing and the last time that they had an update was two days ago so this game is still live they're still working on it and i definitely give them props for doing so um i i'm excited to see where this goes and I would say that the um, some of the images that they show are a little bit misleading, I kind of, I guess. Well, not really, on the game jolt here. It, it just, 
it makes it feel like you're going to be able to build like a full thriving city, and right now you really can't. Um, you can make little houses and stuff like that, but you can't go inside of them. There's not a lot of customization of anything, especially the terrain. I would say that if I were speaking to the developers, the thing that they need to work on is allowing people to change the terrain. At least get rid of trees. At least allow us to remove trees. Make use of that destroy tool. Destroy static meshes on the map and stuff like that. Um, you know, get rid of rocks, get rid of trees, get rid of, you know, barley and stuff like that. Kill the grass, even. Uh, you know, don't even, I, I guess, worry about that so much. But anyway, um, this was a very interesting game. I look forward to revisiting it at some point, which is why I think I labeled it Episode 1. Um, so I, I'm excited to keep uh, seeing this going, and I would like to see where we go kind of from here um or where you know the, the game ends up from here so i'll check on it in a few months maybe um give them a chance to kind of build up some stuff and and kind of get some more content in there and uh i'll, I'll revisit it but you guys gotta hold me to task to that one because i may forget about it there's so many other millions of games out there i can't forget this one uh it's it's interesting and i'm sure that eventually it'll cross my mind again but uh anyway that's all I got for you guys tonight in terms of uh, um, this particular Let's Play. Um, I guess, yeah, that, that should do it, I think. That should do it. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, go and have your own adventure! Bye! Bye! Gotta find the button. Bye! Where's the button? And... There we go. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you for watching. I'll be on tomorrow at 10 p.m. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Actually, maybe a little bit earlier. I gotta... Uh, no, that's not Friday, so... Okay, bye. Bye.